Welcome to this complete Marrakesh, Morocco travel guide. Marrakesh, known as the Red City, is an ancient metropolis brimming with history, culture and the vibrant spirit of Morocco. It's a city where you can immerse yourself in centuries-old traditions, explore architectural marvels and navigate bustling markets. We'll be journeying through 10 spectacular spots, including Jardin Majorel, Jama El Fna, Bahia Palace and more. So buckle up as we embark on this magical journey through the heart of Morocco. Our first stop is the enchanting Jardin Majorel. This magical garden, tucked away in Marrakesh, has a history as vibrant as its iconic Majorel blue. It's the brainchild of French painter Jacques Majorel, who spent 40 years meticulously crafting this botanical masterpiece. A stroll through the garden is a sensory delight, with exotic plants from five continents whispering tales of far-off lands. But the garden's allure doesn't stop at botany. It's also steeped in the glamour of fashion, as it was once the sanctuary of fashion legend Yves Saint Laurent. In the 1980s, Saint Laurent and his partner Pierre Berge rescued the garden from the threat of a real estate development, restoring it to its former glory. Today, it stands as a testament to their love for Marrakesh and its culture. A haven of tranquility amidst the city's hustle and bustle, Jardin Majorelle is a must to visit. Its charm lies in its serenity, its history, and of course, its unforgettable blue. Next, we dive into the vibrant chaos of Jamar Elfna. This bustling square nestled in the heart of Marrakesh is a sensory overload of sights, sounds and smells. As the day unfolds, Jamar Elfna transforms into an open-air theatre where life plays out in a symphony of organised chaos. From dawn to dusk, the square buzzes with activity. Imagine the aroma of traditional Moroccan cuisine wafting from food stalls, each claiming to offer the best tagine or couscous in town. The air thick with the scent of spices, grilled meats and sweet pastries. It's a feast for both the eyes and the palate. But it's not just about food. The square is a stage for captivating street performances. Snake charmers, henna artists, storytellers, musicians and acrobats, each bringing their unique flavor to this kaleidoscopic spectacle. And as the sun sets, the square glows under the soft light of hundreds of lanterns, casting a magical spell on all who visit. A visit to Jamar El Fener is like stepping into a living, breathing piece of Marrakesh's history. We now step into the opulent world of Bahia Palace. A beacon of Moroccan charm and grandeur, this palace is a testament to the exquisite taste of the 19th century vizier Simusa. His vision of beauty and elegance is etched into every nook of the palace, from the vibrant mosaics that grace the floors to the intricate woodwork that adorns the ceilings. A walk through the palace is akin to a journey back in time, to an era of regal splendor and cultural richness. As you wander through the sprawling courtyards and vast gardens, you can almost hear the soft rustle of silk and the faint notes of traditional Moroccan music wafting through the air. The palace's significance extends beyond its ornate architecture. It stands as a monument to Morocco's vibrant history, a silent narrator of tales from a bygone era. Bahia Palace, where every corner whispers tales of a grand past. Let's delve into history at the Sadian tombs. Hidden for centuries, these tombs were only stumbled upon in the early 20th century. Their discovery was nothing short of a historical jackpot, offering a breathtaking glimpse into the Sardian dynasty's grandeur. The tombs serve as the final resting place for about 60 members of the Sardian dynasty, including the Sultan Ahmad al-Mansur, a ruler known for his love of opulence. They're a testament to the dynasty's power and wealth during its golden age in the 16th century. From an architectural perspective, the tombs are a mesmerizing sight. Intricate carvings, marble pillars and elaborate tilework speak volumes of the artistry of the time. The mausoleum's quiet beauty is a stark contrast to the bustling streets of Marrakesh, offering a serene escape into the past. Despite their initial abandonment, the Sadian tombs today stand as a proud symbol of Moroccan history, visited by thousands of history enthusiasts and travelers each year. The Sadian tombs, a poignant reminder of Morocco's rich historical tapestry. Up next, we visit the iconic Kutubia Mosque. A jewel of Moorish architecture, this mosque is a symbol of Marrakesh that dominates the city's skyline. Its towering minaret, standing at a majestic 69 meters high, is a testament to the skill and ingenuity of its ancient builders. This minaret has been a beacon for the faithful, guiding them to their place of worship for over nine centuries. 
The mosque's architectural style is a blend of traditional Moroccan and Andalusian influences, characterized by its arches, intricate tile work and carved stucco. It's like a poem in stone telling a story of a civilization's artistic prowess and spiritual depth. As the sun sets, the mosque's sandstone walls glow, a warm beacon against the indigo sky. It's a sight that is as humbling as it is awe-inspiring. Kutubia Mosque, a testament to Marrakesh's spiritual heritage. Now let's get lost in the labyrinthine Medina souks. Imagine being in a maze of narrow alleyways, bustling with life and vibrancy. A myriad of colors and scents greet you as you step into the Medina souks. An array of goods sprawls before your eyes, from handcrafted leather goods, glittering lanterns, to aromatic spices and intricately woven Berber rugs. This isn't just a marketplace, it's a hub of culture, a testament to Marrakesh's rich heritage. It's a place where time-honored traditions meet the hustle and bustle of the modern world. And let's not forget the art of haggling, it's a dance, a friendly banter between the buyer and seller, a quintessential part of the souk experience. So take your time, soak in the atmosphere, and don't hesitate to haggle for that perfect souvenir. Remember, it's all part of the fun. Medina souks, where every turn leads to a new discovery. Let's explore the ruins of the El Badi Palace. Built towards the end of the 16th century, El Badi Palace, which translates to the incomparable palace, was once a grand edifice that spoke volumes of the opulence and grandeur of the Sadian dynasty. This palace was a testament to the wealth and power of the Sultan Ahmad al-Mansur, with its magnificent courts and rich decorations. Today it stands as a shadow of its glorious past, with only ruins to tell tales of bygone days. El Badi Palace may be a ruin, but it's far from desolate. It has found new inhabitants in a colony of storks that have made the palace their home, adding a touch of life to the otherwise silent ruins. Visiting El Badi Palace is like stepping into a time machine. One can almost hear the echoes of the past, the grand feasts, the music, the laughter. It's a place where history comes alive. El Badi Palace, a majestic ruin that still echoes its past glory. Next we step into the world of ancient Islamic education at Ben Youssef Madrasa. This architectural marvel nestled in the heart of Marrakesh was once the largest Islamic school in Morocco and one of the biggest in North Africa. Its rich history dates back to the 14th century with the current building refurbished in the 16th century under the Sadian dynasty. Imagine the echoing voices of scholars within its walls studying Quranic law and literature. It's a place where wisdom was revered and knowledge was the greatest wealth. The madrasa's architecture is a testament to this reverence. Intricate geometric patterns adorn the walls and carved cedar wood and marble pillars stand as silent witnesses to the passage of time. The central courtyard with its reflecting pool offers a tranquil space for contemplation. Today, it's not just a monument to the past but a place where we can reflect on the enduring value of knowledge and education. Ben Youssef Madrasa, a beacon of knowledge that continues to inspire. Finally, we unwind at the serene Manara and Agdal Gardens. Steeped in history, the Manara Gardens were established in the 12th century during the Almohad Caliphate era. This oasis with its vast olive groves and central basin is a testament to the advanced irrigation practices of the time. The pavilion overlooking the water offers a breathtaking view of the distant Atlas Mountains, a sight that has been captivating visitors for centuries. Just a stone's throw away, the Agdal Gardens unfold. These were also created in the 12th century during the reign of Abd al-Mumin. Sprawling across nearly 400 hectares, they are a spectacle of nature's grandeur, with their lush orchards and tranquil water features. They are also home to the Dar el Hana, a historic pavilion that offers spectacular views of the garden and the city beyond. These gardens play a pivotal role in Marrakesh's urban environment. They serve as the city's green lungs, offering a respite from the bustling city life. Their verdant landscapes provide a cooling effect, making them an ideal escape during the hot summer months. Additionally, their historical significance and natural beauty make them vital cultural landmarks. They are living museums, where one can walk through the corridors of time, experiencing the same vistas enjoyed by sultans and commoners alike over the centuries. Manara and Agdal Gardens, where nature and history blend in perfect harmony, and with that, we conclude our journey through Marrakesh. 
From the vibrant hues of Jardin Majorelle to the bustling energy of Jema Elfna, the intricate beauty of Bahia Palace to the solemn history of Sardian tombs, we've navigated the labyrinthine Medina souks, marveled at the Kutubia Mosque, relished the grandeur of El Badi Palace, absorbed knowledge at Ben Youssef Madrasa, and finally unwound in the tranquil Manara and Agdal Gardens. Marrakesh is a tapestry of experiences begging to be explored. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Until next time, safe travels.